Vic Vinegar asked, what's the one piece of gear I always have with me when I go meat eating? And uh, I always carry a multi-tool. Right now I'm using a SOG power assist. I like it because you can customize the configuration of the blades and, you know, and bits and put whatever you want on there. Jack Stonehammer wants to know what's the hardest game bird I've ever hunted for. Definitely turkeys. I mean, sometimes turkeys are easy, sometimes they're hard, but every time you go turkey hunting, you come away having learned some sort of lesson. Brian Girolami wants to know if I could only cook meat one way for the rest of my life, what would it be? I'd pick two ways, I'm sorry, but it would be grilling and braising. Catherine Powell wants to know if I can answer the great uh, elk camp debate, as she puts it, and it's whether it's okay to smoke cigarettes in your stand or not. When it comes to questions like that, there's no way to like empirically solve it, but I would say I cannot imagine a situation where you would regret having not smoked cigarettes in your stand, but I can picture situations where you would regret having smoked cigarettes in your stand. Wade Dean Stark notes that uh, on Media Day we do a lot of spot and stalk hunts. He wants to know if I ever do stand hunts. Absolutely. I mean, I grew up doing stand hunts for whitetails. I still like to do it today, but for me right now, my personal favorite way to hunt is, is spot and stalk hunting in, in open country. Todd Wagner asks if I still have a dream hunt that I've never gone on. I have hundreds of dream hunts I haven't gone on. A few years ago, I drew a muskox tag on Nunavak Island. I wasn't able to use that tag. It's a dream of mine to, to redraw that and go again, and, and many other things. Um, every year, I whittle a couple off my list. Matt Rupel asks, if I could only hunt one game animal in one place for the rest of my life, what would it be? Probably, if I really had to make that decision, I would probably pick um, hunting elk with a bow in southwest Montana. I did that for 10 years. It was my favorite thing to do then. Um, I still admire and respect that today. That'd probably be my pick. Cosmo Lavecchio, and I'm sorry if I'm mutilating your name, asked if I have, like, what things I enjoy outside of hunting and writing and whether I get burned out or not. Uh, I like hanging out with my wife and kids a lot. I like to read. I like to hang out with friends. I like to cook. Um, I do sometimes get a, a little exhausted hunting, you know, but the minute I get back, if I'm home for a day or two, I start getting kind of itchy. Like, I really want to get out there again. But yeah, I, I have many things that I, that I enjoy doing. And if it wasn't for those other things, I would probably enjoy hunting less, actually. A guy by the name of Grill It with Bobby Gui wants to know, on a scale of one to awful, how bad was a, a batch of javelina meat that I boiled in the javelina's own stomach? It was bad, but it wasn't inedible by any stretch. And he also wants to know if we're going to film any hunts in Africa. I think that will definitely happen. And I think we'll hunt Africa. We'll do it meat eater style. You know, there'll be a lot of hunting. A lot of wild game consumption going on over there. At Chalant asks, what's going to be my son's first big game hunt? My boy right now is just three. In a couple years, I'm sure I'll wind up taking him out on his first hunt, and it'll be for black-tailed deer near a place that I own in southeast Alaska. I want to kick him off that way.